Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Young Family in our YouTube channel. Today is July 9th, 2021. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to easily turn pink hydrangea blue for just one dollar. Stick with me. Before I get started, I would like to strongly recommend you watch my another video. I shot that video just two days ago. In that video, I specifically talk about whether I can turn pink hydrangea blue for just less than one dollar. I already put that video on my YouTube channel. You can click the link above to watch it before you watch this video. A lot of people like to grow hydrangea plants. One of the most attractive features for hydrangea plants is that you can change hydrangea flower colors. There are two things which can dramatically affect whether you can successfully change your hydrangea colors. The first factor is soil pH. The second factor is aluminum content in the soil. Before I talk how to turn pink hydrangea blue, I'd like to talk a little bit of chemical science behind the hydrangea color change. As you know, hydrangea is an acid-loving plant. If the soil pH is over 6.5, it's kind of neutral of alkaline, the hydrangea will produce pink or red flowers. If the soil pH is less than 5.0, it is acidic. The hydrangea will produce blue color flowers. If the soil pH is between 5.0 and 6.5, the hydrangea will produce multiple color flowers. The color varies from blue, lavender, violet, purple, pink, and red. The most important thing to turn your pink hydrangea blue is to lower your soil pH. But how to lower your soil pH? There is a bunch of different ways can help lower your soil pH. Hey guys, check out right here. I have a bunch of different types of chemicals which can help lower your soil pH. Let me introduce them one by one to you. First, let's take a look at the soil acidifier. This is one of the most popular chemicals which is widely used by many gardeners to reduce the soil pH. It is claimed that it can turn hydrangeas blue lower soil pH and also it is claimed by this company safer than alumina sulfate. So let's take a look at the back. Based on instructions, uh, you can apply these chemicals one tablespoon for each four inches of pot diameter. And also this chemical is long lasting, will not burn, it's kind of very safe to your plants. And the active ingredients is sulfur. The content is 30%. So, to be honest, this chemical is pretty common. A lot of gardeners use this one to reduce the soil pH and turn hydrangea blue. Now, let's check out the second chemical. The second chemical is called aluminum sulfate, which is good for acid-loving plants. This chemical can help lower soil pH. And then let's check out the back. The active ingredient is also surf. It's the same as soil acidifier, but the content is 15%. Different from soil acidifier, this chemical contains alumina. Alumina is very important when you turn hydrangea blue. It is absolutely required. So let me talk about a little bit how it works. In alkaline soil, alumina is immobile. It is stuck in the soil. It cannot be transported to the bloom. However, in acidic soil, alumina iron is free, active, mobile. It can be taken up by hydrangea through the root system, and alumina can be transported to the bloom, where alumina interacts with red pigment to produce blue color. This is the chemistry behind the hydrangea color change. If you want to turn pink hydrangea blue, absolutely, you need both. One is acidic soil, the other one is alumina. The chemical alumina sulfate contributes both, so alumina sulfate chemical is a good choice. Generally speaking, the soil contains trace alumina. It might be another problem, but sometimes if you really worry about the alumina content in the soil, you might can use alumina sulfate to increase aluminous content in the soil and make dark blue flowers. The biochemistry behind hydrangea color change is a kind of a little bit more complicated. If you guys are interested, please leave comments down below. Maybe I can make another separate video 
specifically talking about the biochemical science behind the hydrangea color change. So now let's talk about the third chemical. The third chemical is called ferrous sulfate because this chemical contains ferrous. I purchased this chemical for iron deficiency symptom, but also this chemical contains sulfate, which can help lower soil pH. So it also can help turn pink hydrangea blue. For these two chemicals, they are both brand names. They are pretty expensive. For this one, might be $11 without tax. This one might be $15 without tax. So that's why I'm thinking about whether I can find any other chemicals as a substitute to lower soil pH to increase soil acidity. Now let's talk about the most important chemical. It is vinegar. Actually, it should be called diastyl white vinegar, which contains 5% acetic acid. This is the only ingredients in this container. So let's check out this small bottle. Actually, this is exactly the same as this big bottle. It is also called diastyl white vinegar. Check out the ingredients. It is the exact same. And if you check out these nutrition factors, you cannot find anything else in this bottle. Check out right here, focus. Everything is zero. So basically, I use this vinegar, diastyl, white vinegar, diluted to what hydrangea plants to turn pink hydrangea plants blue. So compared with this big bottle, it is a brand name. It's two quarter size. This small bottle is a generic brand. It is only one quarter. I got this one from 99 cents only store. So actually it is less than $1. Anyway, so you can purchase any diced white vinegar from any grocery store. It is pretty cheaper relatively. So guys, you might ask whether I can use some different types of vinegar to lower soil pH and turn pink hydrangea blue. The answer would be no. Check out right here. Here is two different types of vinegar. So basically, I think they are both are seasoning vinegars. So check out the left side. This is Japanese brand name, vinegar. Actually, I use this one to make sushi to increase flavor, make rice more tasty. If you check out nutrition factors, you can find some other ingredients such as sodium and sugar and ingredients listed right here. And let's check out this bottle. Actually, this is a very famous Chinese brand name, vinegar. I can guarantee in every Chinese family, you can find this product in the kitchen. So that's why they use this one to make delicious Chinese food. So let's check out nutrition factors. The same thing, you can find sodium, sugar, whatever you know, some other stuff in this vinegar. So for these two different types of vinegar, they're both good for food, but not good for plants. So I would not recommend you to use this kind of type of vinegar to lower soil pH to turn hydrangea blue. Then I'm going to show you how to prepare a vinegar solution. Basically, just dilute one cup of vinegar into one gallon water. Then I'm going to show you how to make this solution. This is 0.5 cup. I just poured vinegar to this cup. So totally one cup. So I'm going to fill the water to this scale. You can see here, I already marked the scale, one gallon. So guys, I already filled this pitch with one gallon right here. So I'm going to pour this diluted vinegar onto the hydrangea plant. So basically you just water this plant on the bottom, the root system, all the way on the bottom.
what you got right here. You see here, I just water this plant. Pretty easy. All this vinegar solution will all the way into the soil. It's going to help to low down, lower soil pH, to reduce the soil pH and increase acidity. Actually, to be honest, I really don't know the soil pH, orange or soil pH. Even though I water this plant with diluted vinegar solution, definitely, I think it can help lower soil pH. But unfortunately, I don't have any device to measure the exactly soil pH. If you think your soil pH is pretty alkaline, you can increase the vinegar solution concentration. Actually, I once used 1.5 cup in one gallon water. It is pretty safe for this plant. You can see here, I didn't see any sign. It is chemical toxic to this plant. Regarding how often you should water your hydrangea plant, for this hydrangea bush, actually, just recently, I water this hydrangea bush every other day using this way. But actually, you can see here, I didn't see any toxic for this hydrangea plant. So it should be very safe for this hydrangea plant. But for your hydrangea bush, probably you have to think about the size of a hydrangea plant. If the hydrangea plant is relatively small, probably you have to cut down the volume. If your hydrangea bush is really big and giant, probably you have to increase vinegar concentration or just use more water. So guys, if you like today's video and think today's video is very helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, share, leave comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.